the series. Fnatic take it on FaZe. And we're gonna set the town ablaze as we get ready to move in to the second map in this series. I like that little guitar in there. That's a good riff. I like the woof that got added, man. That's pretty yeah, cool. That's pretty good. Any dogs in chat? Oh, definitely some Franker Z's out there. Ooh, well, we got FaZe on the T side of their pick in this series. Broden eating a smoke, getting stalled, but he will be going for the fight, not for long. Golden's got the cross down towards B. No, he Ooh. doesn't. Rain's gonna obliterate him there and one more. That's what you like to see from Rain. Double opener, drop into that B bomb site. Fnatic, they are gonna follow, but FaZe, haha, it's all a ruse. They go back up the secret and then into A. And into the crosshair of Crims. He's only good to take down one. It's created quite the problem, JW. We'll be taking some Molotov damage, and he's going to go for it. He jumps right out in front of it. Cold Zera gets the better of him. So just flush at a 1v4 with no kit, one flash, no armor. Really not a whole lot to do. And maybe also on 4x3. Yeah, we need a good T-side from FaZe in this game right now, right? Like one round after a 10-5 half in T-side of Inferno. So that's a great start. That's going to be the... Uh, the buffer building potentially in this first half as they should be able to go 3-0 up. Assuming Fnatic Force here, you know, I don't, maybe maybe my assumption was wrong, right? Like these Force Buys can get terrifying on CT Nuke. And so a Scout, a Mag7, some pistols around it, flushes back on the CZ. Let's see what Fnatic can do in this round. Krims is donning this scout, and he's got Golden nearby to help him. I'm most excited to see what Brolin can do with the Mag-7. He's on top of Hut with it. He's not on top of Hut with it. He's in the Hut with it. He's gone one step further. And hey. Kirby, is he about to discover this in the most brutal way possible? There's the Mag-7 doing 95 at that range, and of course, that's why you never buy it. Kirby, though, very low oh, and finished dear. off by Flusher oh, wow. with a good gun. And now Cold in this 1v4. You said that the four spies sometimes get deadly. And, well, lo and behold, the evidence is in the pudding. The evidence is in the pudding. Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, Cold, let's see, man. Does he have a sweet tooth here? 1v4 onto the AK. What do you even do? Like, being real, if you're cold here, like, what do you even do? Hi. They're pushing him outside, and there's JW nice. making it happen. Fnatic, they steal that round away, and it's immediate. That same familiar feeling for the FaZe players and fans. That, that feeling of, ooh. Yeah. Ejection and, yeah. and failure. <laughs> So it, what, the reason that fell apart for FaZe is because they noticed the uh, rotates for Fnatic and their pistol down to B, and they try and do it again. They throw the outside smokes. Nico, I think it was, runs behind them, goes to secret, and then they back up, go back behind red and enter main. Fnatic hadn't dropped B. JW was in secret. He was on the stairs. He knew that FaZe hadn't crossed lower, and so everyone stays on that top side, and FaZe walked right into the stack. So they hadn't accounted for that, and now they want some lower control of their own. They send Kiabi down the vent into that bomb site. He's going to try and fight with Flusher with a Tech-9. Uh, in B. Flush is not giving him a lot, though. Attention drawn towards ramp, and for good reason. FaZe are running it down. JW denying the hell control. They don't check him. Flush with one. Or oh, if he backs up, he backs up into Kierby, but this Tech-9 is garbage at the best of times. It's cold to take it instead. Whoa, whoa, Flusher whoa. burns out cold. You got a problem with that, Trace? No, I was just saying the Tech-9 can hear you when you say that. Speaking of which, Brokey. Oh, oh you the end of his magazine. All right. Oh, but of course, Brolin, being the gangster he is, he goes, <laughs> yeah, Mag-7, it is trash. But now, on to the XM. And that there is the smart man's shotgun. Smart man. I don't know how Flusher lives so long, right? He gets hit in the back by the tech, and then the Deagle finishes it off through the molly for cold. Burns, obviously. It's a good trade, but it doesn't allow FaZe to get a bomb plant in any capacity. So a lost round, and now Fnatic up two to one. I like that guy's hoodie. That was pretty cool. Truly one of a kind. Look at this. Uh oh. Look at the mate. Oh, Kiabi <laughs> just plummets down to earth. <laughs> oh. It's gone wrong here. There was an idea. I say that. Nico actually Look finds at this. a decon. He nice. might get a plan out of this. They are hot on Oh, I don't know though. if he does. Yeah, and he's, he's going to go for it. He might. 
Oh, no, no, it was close. Tech Nina doing what it needs to do and not getting the kill. <laughs> he even went round the silo as well. He went to the double door side. It was the right call, but dear, dear Fnatic, they just chase you down, man. Okay, 3-1. Early start. FaZe had got around. They're already doing as good as they did in the second half of Inferno. We're hoping for more, though. This is not where we draw the line. This is not 2013. You don't see 14-1 CT sides on this map anymore. So, FaZe, what do you got for us, boys? Those were the days, man. <laughs> ah, man. JW just runs into secret and he lives to tell the tale. Now they are close, but Nico's got no idea. Oh, oh. JW in with another. And it's double trouble for J Double down here in the secret stairs. Oh, oh there's a gap. J W, let's get another. Come on. Brokey still kicking. Not for long, maybe. Is he still alive? How on earth is he still alive? They're just hounding him down, and J W <laughs> shoots his teammate in the back of the head. But Fnatic get the round. And already we're seeing some of that signature Fnatic flavor in this game and in this series. You know, we wanted to see them looking like they're having fun with it. And nothing says fun like just chasing down some guy, killing your teammate. We're almost killing him. It's with a tech nine in the back of the head. So it's like, you know, no damage, but. <laughs> that don't do that. Gun's got some, some hefty firepower. It's just hard yeah, to man. hit the shots, you know. FaZe missed that smoke again, man. I feel like every time I watch FaZe on this map, they miss Ooh. the same smoke. And what it's actually. This? Yeah, it's a gun, actually. Oh, oh, is that the oh, auto? Oh, it's the auto, man. Nice. The auto looking down the barrel looks weird. Like, I didn't like that. Okay, more standard smokes for FaZe. Can't mess these ones up. But Molotov actually creates a bit of a gap in the bottom. So FaZe jump across. JW sees at least two or three feet. Wow. And he will take one alongside Golden. Smoke kills for Fnatic. It's just what we expect at this point. FaZe have lower, but, well, Fnatic have already rotated down. They've not fallen for anything. It's no fake today. Ooh, missed shot from the orb, but there's still one in the site to deal with. That nade could be brutal. And for Nico, it is. That nade could also be brutal, but this time it's not. Oh. Nico going to have his revenge with the deagle. Problem is, if you look at the map, doesn't look fun to be either of these phase guys right now, as you are trapped in a corridor Controlled. and they're everywhere, and you only have this corridor. For Brokey, he doesn't have that for much longer either. Fnatic snipe away a fifth round, and they only lose JW in the midst of the madness. So they're almost at max money. It's 5 1. Uh, there's no real money left for phase. This certainly isn't the ideal beginning, but there's always a chance to bounce back. That's what we have to remind ourselves on. You know, we've seen FaZe in situations like this before and be good to, you know, turn things around a bit, shake it up. And whether or not they're going to, <laughs> those are two different matters, but ah. let's see. Always got to be realistic, Harry. Always got to bring us back down to earth. Right now, FaZe, they're plummeting towards the ground. So what's, what's this grossness going to be from JW? Huh? Tucking himself into the vent. Waiting for them to come through the door because they've been vent dropping a few times now. JW is so stylish on the vent, like with the orb, he can, he can just fly up and down between it, pop out when you least expect it, or just push squeaky off a contact made by Brolin. Brokey's not holding this either. He's got to watch both sides now that his teammate has died. And Nico, he's not going for the bomb. He's going up. Brokey will join him. Bit of a team meeting on the roof. Oh, Actually, and he just avoids death, but that's so much info for Fnatic. So Fnatic are already kind of laughing like, lol, you know, they're, they're not even in lobby. <laughs> like, look at how scared oh, yeah. they are right now. Shadow spotted, Ooh. but JW takes a step at the last second. Brolin out on T roof, takes out one. This is a weird round. These are all weird rounds. Crims is holding main. He heard that shot connect, and now he's like all, all panicked. <gasps> oh, the timing for Crims. The timing for Crims, and that leads to Golden's demise back in CT. A smoke was just dropped here to only have Crims having to worry about this one angle, but now he's going to start considering a potential heaven wrap as well. 20 seconds, though. FaZe are waiting for this smoke to fade before they go. Crims, his legs stick out a little too far, but Flusher trades it back. This is where Rain's got to come in huge from heaven, and he's not good for anything. It's all left on to Brokey trying to get down the vent, but it isn't broke. Oh! Brokey's still alive, running. Is there even time? No. no, there's no time. He goes back for the oh. kill and he can't get it. Heartbreak Hotel, the reservation's checked and it's all looking good. Faze check in and Fnatic, they check out.
now at 6 1. Man, yeah. I don't know how FaZe lose that. was a perfect round. The right call. They had the read. Yeah, okay, Fnatic were three on the top side. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. That was a, a good stack for Fnatic there. They had the info. They knew the outside wasn't compromised after Golden dies. But Flusher, that's the key kill. Crims gets shot through the smoke, giving the advantage to FaZe. And then Flusher re aggresses and trades. FaZe weren't ready for that. He buys time with the smoke. Rain tries to take him down from heaven. But in looking at the smoke, where he can't see Flusher, he gets shot at from heart. There's just too many crossfires on A for Fnatic. They were ready for the wrap round, and now they break FaZe's money once again. It's all too familiar. Oh dear. Spam through the hut as well. Doesn't get any easier for FaZe. They try and take A. Quick out the hut. No flashes. Boland quickly drops the bomb. He gets overwhelmed. Crims comes through the smoke. He needs to hold on. He needs another and he gets it, but these trades could favor FaZe if they find guns at their feet. And they have Nico with two. Bomb still under the control of FaZe. Golden's going through the smoke. He waits for no one, but actually, no, he waits for someone. He hangs around as it fades. And Fnatic might be playing retake in this one. <gasps> oh, Nico oh. not able to win that fight out and it leaves it all on cold. Goes back for the bomb. Looking for event drop, I imagine, right? You know, main is uh, contested by Fnatic. You know, they've got heaven. And so we're on the bomb cam. Down into B it goes. Cold Zera taps it, but Fnatic, the way they often deal with this is just rushing it down. Like they don't even give you the room. Cold gonna try and get it planted now. And Flusher at the double doors. Golden rushing the smoke behind him. It is just so constricting to play against this Fnatic squad. You know, any any ounce of respect that you were hoping for, that you were hoping they would give you, they don't. And, and they wouldn't regardless of who they're up against, you know. They could be versus like solidified best team in the world and they still do this style of play. And yeah, it, it's very uncomfortable to play against. You know, you see Cole trying to, trying to be methodical as he can be there down in the B site and it just doesn't happen, it just doesn't go his way. Yeah, Fnatic are the masters of the you shoot and I'll move technique in those 2v2s, right, or 2vxs where, where one player draws attention, flushes spams, and then, you know, Golden just runs through the door. Is that Loba? Have we got Loba on the fan cams? I think we do. He's a pretty easy guy to identify, Hugo. Yeah. Look out for the massive arms and you're there. Just look for the guy that looks like a, a human tank and then you'll find him. Supporting, you know, his uh, FBL friends and Fnatic. Or enemies. Right now, Fnatic, they're FaZe's enemies. 7-1 up. They are absolutely wrecking them. Still waiting for FaZe to come alive. Kierby holding lobby for the top of T-Room. <laughs> right. So scared you, of Fnatic. You, you kind of know that the situation's gotten a little bit desperate when you're in Kierby's angle right now. You know, you're so... Don't worry, guys. If they push hurt. If they dare try and push her again, I've got them, says Kirby confidently. But they haven't pushed. Kirby's still looking to do good on this promise. JW ain't moving a muscle. There's a lot of attention towards outside in this round, but there's a big gap in that smoke. Huge. That's not even a gap at that point. That's like a feature. And an attribute. Yeah, it's really rough now because this is given time for Flush to rotate in through secret. He's actually pushing. Rain didn't see him on the swing, oh. so that's the bomb dropped, and at least Rain trades, right? As far as they're concerned, they're up against teleporting ghouls on the other side, and Kirby and Brokey left in this one in a two-on-four. JW's coming up. Kirby, <laughs> where are you, man? This was where he was just moments ago. But obviously, he's had to go help out with this whole, you know, not having the bomb situation. And in doing so, JW now, he's in this whole Whoa. behind the enemy situation. And Cold and Crims, or Golden and Crims, rather, deal with the remaining two to put an eighth on the board for Fnatic. Yeah, Fnatic get like max money on most of their players now as well. So they're feeling pretty damn good about themselves. <laughs> I love a JW <laughs> yeah. smile, man. Always, always smirking. Like, this, this smoke here, uh, Fnatic have been mollying it most rounds. They've been mollying red off of spawn. And even if that wasn't off of spawn because it was a late smoke, Fnatic get it down in time to disrupt the utility. And so either FaZe have been smoking the mollies, which obviously results in gaps, or they've been missing the smokes anyway. There's this molly down again. It causes the smoke to bloom early. Some of them will be fine for FaZe, though. Rain runs right by it. He runs in front of it, trying to escape to hell. It doesn't matter. FaZe are overtaking this A site. Oh, Crims with a convincing opener. Brolin follows up and takes a second down before he perishes at the hands of Nico. 
Mollied out from the heart, but makes quick work of Flusher up in heaven. And now we look to JW at a 1v2 to try and turn this back in favor of Fnatic. Nico and Cold doing everything they can to get a second round, but JW Whoa. just walks the smoke <laughs> and he almost gets away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling kids of that bomb. But a second round on the board for FaZe locked in on the back of Nico and Cold's error. That's what you want to see. I'll be at a little number for FaZe, but you got to start somewhere. An eight, seven, half would probably feel really good considering the woes of Inferno. Wow, that is optimistic, Trace. Yeah, you're right. What am I thinking? 8-7 and 8-2. Well, FaZe can do it. Credit to them. But this is not going to be an easy road to recovery. Back to a fast player. Work last time. As so towards the rat they go. Flusher, he's committed on this side of the railing. And he's only going to take down the MAC-10 with him. So quick drop into B. Available for FaZe. JW posted, but mollied off. And FaZe get that B site for free. Fnatic. Their retakes are really good on Inferno on that B bomb side. They never even let a bomb get planted on A, but right now it's back to B in this four on four as FaZe established post plants. And still having so much utility is going to help them out massively. You know, they've just been able to keep Decon smoked. They drop this molly here as well to delay the retake that much longer. Now, there is a lot of utility on the other side as well. And JW just gets a freebie in from ramp. Brokey now is kind of panicking a bit, knowing that there's someone nearby. They're looking to deal with Cold Zera. And they're struggling with it right now. But Crims has brought it back into a somewhat doable round, although there's no time for him. And so he's going to back on out of there. Brokey with a very important kill onto JW at ramp. Turns that whole round on its head. Cold's able to keep holding down that that avenue over towards control and the utility just locks out Fnatic from really ever attempting that retake. Yeah, not only phases utility, but Fnatic are clearing the, the halls of Molotovs, right? And you mentioned Cold, well that Molly fades on the right stairwell and he immediately re-aggresses into where the Molly was. So Crims comes down the stairs thinking, oh, he just mollied it, it's clear, there's no one here. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth because immediately Cold was back in that position. Phase building, better late than never. Three to eight, two rounds in a row. And this is the last buy from Fnatic before economical woes will start to appear. More mollies down. The smoke will not, will bloom on it rather. And that's not what Phase wanted. A big gap outside, but they're taking the A site instead. Oh, no one's checked the rafters yet. Finally, Rain's like, nah, this don't feel right. And he will give it a little look in. It's a two on three. But on the vent, oh, JW <laughs> playing whack-a-mole. Brokey all alone. But there's one man you don't want to give too much room to in the clutch, and it's Brokey. Golden is what? in the vent oh. behind him. This all is right. weird. Brokey's going back for a gunfight. This is never how these rounds go. Brokey could go into A. He could go up right now. And he's like, peace out, Cub Scout. Into the A site he goes. And now going to get this bomb planted. Flusher exhausted from running between the bomb sites. <laughs> he's going back into heaven. There's a flash to try and... Oh, oh that's man, a brutal Flusher. nade. Flusher is the king of utility, man. He really is, especially HEs. Double it's like tap. he looked at Astralis and was like, yeah, these guys kill everyone through smokes and do loads of nade damage. I could get behind that. And he's been doing this since before Astralis. Oh, yeah. He's the, like, prehistoric Astralis. <laughs> you know? Prehistoric? Not a dinosaur necessarily, but uh, he is trampling on FaZe Clan right now. Yeah, Golden, he catches that main lug this time, but FaZe, they just wanted to crunch A. Think about the, the first, or so, maybe it was the second round that they won. No, yeah, I don't know. Second round they won. It was a fast, uh, fast A play off the back of those outside smokes that allowed Rain to wrap in through main. Well, as soon as Fnatic see the smokes, they don't fall for it. They deny that wrap. And obviously the molly just confirms the fact that those smokes have not landed. If he was a dinosaur, though, he'd be a Tyrannosaurus because he wrecks, man. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, dude. You get it. You understand the jokes. They're easy. And Kirby, he's easily gotten down the vents somehow. He's lived to tell the tale. He's done this a few times, and actually, Fnatic never seem aware of it. Flush is going to try and hold down the ramp, but he's only good for one. A lot of damage on Terrain, and a rotation for JW into this position gets cancelled out by the Molotov. So ramp room's given over, but they deal with Nico outside. This round is weird. Into B, go phase. They still don't know that Kirby made it down the vents earlier on, and so he can try and cut off these secret rotations. He's hidden in this corner. 
Now, are they going to check it? Because that's the big question. JW always checks, but it's not enough. As Kirby's put up a double, now retrieves the AWP. Oh. Goes back for more, and that's his death sentence sealed by Brolin. Yeah, still time ticking, though. Half the uh, bomb is gone now, and Fnatic are a long way away. Brolin has many angles to clear, and Cold is tucked, hidden at dark as well, playing it on a timing. He's not going to peek out. Crims has to come to him. He's not looking like he's going to check the spot, but he gets the shot, and now Cold stalling the first bullet. He's going to fire it off, taking down Brolin. Crims goes back to the bomb, and he wins the fight, but no time. It's FaZe with a fourth. Cold just biding his time for a few more seconds. Will win FaZe the round. Great work from Kiebi as well, catching two players coming in through secret. He didn't expect expect a third so late, even though he goes back for the check. Brolin is quick and a nice try from Fnatic, but FaZe finally start to build into this game. Four rounds on the T side. It's not perfect, but you take what you can get. Just like we knew, it's starting to look like a 9-6 half for FaZe, Hugo. You called 8-7, Trace. Well, you numbers here and there, yeah, but you know, they, it's... They do move. No, a six would be good though. FaZe can, FaZe can work with six. They had a great CT side to start this series, but another A play is where all the success has been coming up early, but maybe not late as JW <laughs> stomps on the head of Cold. is quickly traded the pistols here for Fnatic, somehow making a mockery of FaZe. The grenade finding Kiabi. Brokey again in another clutch. Down the vent he goes. It's all too familiar. This time he has a Molotov to actually stop or slow the rotate from Fnatic, giving him time to plant open. Here we go. One on three. Brokey on 38 HP. He's got to be slick with it. He's gone for post plant ramp play. Smoke there is going to bide a little bit more time for flush up, but Ooh. not a whole lot. Matter of mere milliseconds almost. It's going to be Fnatic dropped the Molotov there towards ramp and phase. Well, they're looking at a successful round here on the back of this. What could be a full defuse? They've stuck the bomb, or they've actually got on it right there right now, and it looks like they're going to pull it through because Brokey cannot stop it. And we have a full-on round for Fnatic right there. Three-on-one with Brokey left in a pretty awkward position, Hugo. Yeah, that would have been the ace clutch for Brokey. He doesn't move on the first tap, but uh, Fnatic, they just stick it in the smoke, and there's cover there for Golden. Such a, a capable individual, oh. Golden. He's fragging right now. He's holding on strong from the outside position. And Fnatic, they just love getting it done when they don't have the money to do it, right? The second round forced by after they lost the pistol, they won that. Well, that's the first time they've been broken since, and they win it again. The aggression, they live in it. 10 to 4, phase broken back, looking for a fifth, a best case scenario. Yeah, best case Ontario. And that's what they're looking for on phase. But the outside wrap. Oh, Cole just about gets the utility What's... in. Rains out of the hut. This is a this is a confusing one. Golden's in the lobby, but FaZe are actually going to ramp side. This is chaotic. This could no one really knows what's happening in this round. They're holding for the flank and they get rewarded handsomely for it. Flusher does dive bomb in and actually is now dropping the bomb as well. It's a three on three. Brokey's still coming. He's like, don't worry, guys, I've got hell. I've got hell. I'm going to wrap into heaven. They'll never see it coming. But JW, he sees it coming and he locks in that kill. Kirby going to find one onto old mate Flusher. Crims has just looked away at the worst possible timing, but he's tucked himself in. 45 seconds, time, plenty of it for FaZe. They're going to try and wrap a man out into heaven from outside. Now, they do... Actually, wait, they don't know that Cold Zare is there, rather. So this could actually make a huge difference. JW is holding on to heaven, but maybe Cold can get the drop on him. It's a big maybe. The, the round kind of hangs in the balance based on this success from Cold. And Kirby has found one in the meantime. 20 seconds, and JW's just playing the timing game. Molly on the bomb. You've got to run through it if you want to get that bomb, Kirby. Ha, ha, ha. As now, he's going to wait for the Molly to fade. JW playing the patience and wow. wins it out in the clutch. 11 on the board for Fnatic and a measly four for FaZe. Is that enough for FaZe Clan moving into their CT side on their map pick? Or is this one all over with Fnatic looking to take it in two? Find out in just a moment.
feel the same way I used to do Every time I see you, you know the truth Cause baby Welcome back, everybody, to what is Fnatic versus FaZe. And we are certainly in the second half, the second map of play here in this best of three. Harry Hugo and myself being Trace. We're ready to get this one back underway. You already know what time it is. We'll just listen to Sarah for a second. Really makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Sarah leaving me? Down Why? into the B site. It's going to be golden. Not leaving anytime soon. That's why we like golden. He don't leave like Sarah oh. does. Cold Sarah dinked in the head. Cold Sarah more like, because he might have to leave this yes. B site. <laughs> not original, but we'll take it No, it's not, Trace. You made that joke many a time in the past. Well, let me make it one more time. Cold Sarah is going to fall to flush his Glock, and that's going to be the end of his run in this round. Brokey, what the response still? Oh, oh. Not, just no. trying to tap, tap away there at the head, and it's just K or B staying alive oh, somehow. Is it? Some way, not entirely sure, but he's done it. Oh, God. AW's AW. going for the knife. Oh, no. They're already dead. JW, Stop. don't. This is where, like, like flushes on the mic. JW, don't throw. Don't throw. <laughs> He's trying to knife on the smoke. But don't worry. Because FaZe, they aren't even going for it. Yo, they, pistol save, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's all you've got at yeah. this point in time, you know? Like, it's 12 to 4. Oof. You don't have a lot of room to turn this around, and you need all the money you can. What's saddest about that pistol for me is we've cast a lot of nuke these last couple of weeks, and I swear, Harry, every nuke game, every CT side on the pistol, it's like three or four ramp nowadays. And if they don't get the ramp rush, they push into lobby and flank the A play or the outside play. Well, Fnatic, they just rush ramp, and FaZe immediately drop to B. They have no one there to stop it. And yeah, Fnatic just run wild, knives out. Missed shots from Kierbi, cost him everything. And Fnatic, they want to take more into this A side, double molly on main. Yeah. You know, they've got a momentum right now, Hugo. Yeah. 
And if they can run with that, that's going to be the end for FaZe in this game. It's not looking far off. FaZe need to win the force that Fnatic did after FaZe took their T-side pistol. But is there as much hope with Brolin about to stab them in the back? Brokey's leaving outside. Nico has made noise from red and he might just be dead. Oh, there's another shot. Goodbye, Nico. Caught by Brolin, peeking out from the red side. Fnatic with an advantage and all of the yard control. Brokey's come out late to try and piece together this one, but doesn't know how deep they could be. Rain, here's the drop off, can calm that along, but Brokey obliterated by Brolin's Galil, and even the tag in main gets hurt as well. Kiabi's taken lobby, Flusher's still here. Nice shot, the range on the shotgun, finding Flusher, but still, look at the control Fnatic have. They are behind phase and climbing up into the rafters. Yeah, that shotgun, kind of like a mid-range deagle almost in a way, Harry. Really stretching it, of course, but... Yeah, that is a bit of a stretch, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see, Kirby still holding with the Mag 7. Rain is closing the gap as well behind... Uh, never mind. Oh, oh. Kirby, another, the mid-range Deeg working wonders right now. Told you. We've all known it, we've all called it, but the B site now called into question as well. As Fnatic drop on in to get this bomb planted for Cold and Kirby. Will it be a save? It smells like it. Certainly looks like, like it. it. Oh. oh, there's an AK dropped heaven, though. It's not the end of the world, right? You get out of it with a gun. kirby has got some extra money. He could even look to drop a, a gun into play or, or save if that's what FaZe want to do in this next round. And then they have money to go for an AWP buy as well. So, you know, this opens up some options at least to FaZe. But how many exactly, Harry, if you had to, like, count it? If I had to count it, it's opened up, like, two okay. out of a possible... I don't know. There's a lot of options. <laughs> I mean, you either win the round or you lose the round, right? Like, that's... I think that's what a great man once said. Yep. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Michael Scott via Wayne Gretzky. Ooh. Look at this. The recoil on that thing. <laughs> Up to the I like ceiling. how we see the fish hook in his hat, too. People where I'm from, the kid Conas, they'd be proud of that. Fanatic, they're not fishing fish. They're whale hunting right now. They are taking down the monsters of the ocean. Whales, not really monsters, but there's yeah, something. Gentle they're giants, of course. The big, the big yeah. boys is what I'm trying to say. You know, they're taking down the, I don't know. There's something in there. Right now, FaZe, they're drowning. I can tell you that much. In fire, in flames, in smokes, in bullets. Gabby with a 1 AK pushes into lobby. That's an opening kill for FaZe. That could lighten the load on the enemy side. Oh dear, that smoke doesn't bounce off the vents. Gabby's going to duck into the B site. I was supposed to hit the door. JW now given a doorway open to try and exploit and take an opening kill back the way of Fnatic. Reigns above the hut, but not susceptible to the door. And Fnatic are crunching on ramp. Holds there up, Mag 10, lots Whoa. of damage, but not the killing blow. He softened them up for Brokey, and he does mm. deliver a nice little ramp hold to us. Now, is that going to be enough? It's two on two. Kirby's already down in B, but might get swept away oh. here, and Brolin's going to pick it up. Rain. Armed with nothing more than a Deeg. Has got to deliver in the clutch. This is a pretty tall task. Maybe if he wins a fight on a JW Ooh. now with Brolin so low, they might regret sending JW aggressive. Brolin waiting close on the other side of the double door and Raid is just trying to keep him guessing. He goes back into the vent. Brolin with plenty of time looking for that trade and it never presents itself. Brolin's leaving. He's like, peace out. I'm going away. I want nothing to do with you, Raid. And Rain's still waiting at B. He's never to know. And it won't be until he hears that little boop of the bomb getting planted that suddenly everything will become clear to him. Rodo can molly vent before he does that as well if he wants. He might just go for the straight stick. He's been so silent getting here. Why give away anything? Why give your opponent a chance? There's the plant with a second left on the clock. Molly to follow, of course, making it difficult. But Rain's got to go right through it, taking half his health in the process towards the lobby. Now, it has to be called for Fnatic. That door was open. Brolin's not considering it, but he could flick back. One shot will spell Rain's demise, but it could go the other way. He realizes, tucked in the corner, Brolin's going to win the fight. Oh, boy. That was so close for Rain. He just didn't quite fully clear the left side. And once Brolin had his number, 
Well, he had his number spraying down. Rain walks into the hailstorm, and it's going to be Fnatic up to 14. They deal with another. I, I don't want to call that a force. It was mainly just a save for phase with some pistols around it. They put up a really good fight, considering that's one AK on Kierby and a Mac on Cold that doesn't get a kill, only damage on the ramp. Double deek for Brokey. But yeah, this is it. This is the uh, the buy round for phase. This is all they're going to be able to show us unless they start to win here on the CT side. Oh dear. Oh, it's a fast A play, at least for Golden. The rest of the team aren't in tow. But that might force this whole CT setup into, into a very weird spot now as they're trying to adjust players back and forth. Brokey arriving. Ooh. Fast flick, but not going to land. You don't just get points for making it quick. Kirby has aggressed into lobby, and this is something that Fnatic shouldn't be aware of. So he actually could get away with a hell of a lot here. No way they go outside. Oh, my. Wow. Feels bad, man, for Kirby, man. He's tried to be so patient. Don't worry, guys, I've got lobby. So we've trapped them at ramp, and it's like, well... <laughs> Funny, man. No, you haven't exactly trapped them at ramp. It turns out the one route that they would have needed to take to elude this aggressive lobby player has been taken by Fnatic. Now, back in CT, there is a player going by the name of Brokey. We know him, we love him, and we know what he can do with this uh, with this orb. And there it is, Brolin lit up. First man falls, Brokey now having to divide his attention between outside and the ramp room. You don't envy his position here. Fight on his left, and he didn't spot it. Krim's going to get a free beat to find us back in a three-on-three. Still, like, no clear indication yeah. where this one's looking to end up, and that's why it's so awkward for FaZe now. They're looking for answers, and the answers are going to come to them. Kirby not able to respond. Flusher is fully blinded, still gets that kill locked in, and now the bomb planted. It's a two-on-three that FaZe don't really have any other choice but to attempt, and with heaven control, go in the way of JW. This should be... Oh, oh he's looking don't for the do knife. it. He's look, oh. Full control, full control. You see the way he backs away just before the knife comes out. JW. He goes just looking up into Master heaven class. like, that's why I didn't go there. <laughs> that's just, I don't think Fnatic could have played that round better if they tried. And they had no info either. Great shot from Nico, but ooh, no, he's going towards the ramp. He's going to die. Oh dear, double back, flush is here. And Nico should survive. If he had a kit, he could have dropped on the site and stuck the bomb with Flusher here, but Nico wasn't to know. And oh boy, this could be it. That's FaZe crumbling, falling apart right there. That kill from Flusher sends them back. 15 to four. And that's just a masterful round. FaZe the entire time where they're losing players are going, what are they doing? Where are they going? I, I don't actually know, guys. I have no idea. And why would they? Kiabi has the lobby. He's like, yep, yeah, they're trapped ramp. They're clear. He even checks ramp after they leave. They go outside. Brokey sees one outside. He sees Crims. That's it. He gets traded. And then Fnatic just crunch A. They even smoke off Kiabi's aggressive position in the door. They make the read. That's a beautiful round for Fnatic. And FaZe just get dealt the worst hand possible. House always wins. Fnatic, they're rigging the decks. This lobby push could find something. Golden is holding for it though. JW has found one outside and suddenly like lobby, they're like, yeah guys, it's clear. It's not. Golden, 4 HP, waiting ever so patiently. Cold, he, he doesn't seem to believe it, and so he does go around to check, oh. and he's going to lock in that kill. So he's given over a three-on-three three once again as Cold's error. Brolin almost getting caught by Nico. He's very, very fast on the rotate down those vents. But look at JW. Where's he at? He's over in like hell, creeping in towards ramp. Is he looking for another knife? Don't knife Cold's error again. Come on, man. What's Cold ever done to you, JW? Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Cold doesn't nice. realize. Somebody tell him. Somebody tell him quickly. Cold knifed oh, again by God. JW. They're up against Ezio Adatore on the other team. <laughs> and now it's just Crims left in a 1v1. Kirby on the other side. And Crims is just playing the time. It's horrible. What a way to meet your end if you're Kirby. There's no time left even if he wanted to go for it. So it's FaZe. Oh. 